Welcome to my Exploring Todoist tutorial. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in this week's episode, we're going to be talking all about how I use Todoist in my workflow. Coming up next. So here we are within Todoist, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit of how I utilize Todoist in my workflow. Basically, this is going to be my Todoist setup or my current setup for Todoist that I am utilizing today. So when Todoist came out with the pinning function of their uh, labels and projects and filters, I um, had to revamp how I did my um, my workflow, so to speak. Before I was uh, consistently working out of the filters area, and in essence, I'm still doing that. I've just pinned my most used um, filters here, uh, and I don't really have to worry about going through the whole long list of uh, filters that I might use on an occasional basis because I have all the ones I mostly use here. So as you see here, I have my inbox open. Currently there's nothing in here. Uh, but if I was now earlier today when I had my morning routine in there and a few other items, and of course this is like five o'clock in the uh, evening right now. So I've accomplished a lot of my tasks, but if you see here, I in my today view, I have 51 tasks, 51 tasks there. So if I was to look at that and see all those tasks in there, um, I would get kind of a little bit of overwhelm because I'd be like, golly, am I going to get through with all those tasks? But I have trained myself not to really pay attention to the today view. I really don't look at the today view until probably later on this evening when I'm doing my uh, daily mini review. But for the most part, what I pay attention to whenever I'm going throughout my day is everything that I have pinned, all of my filters that I've pinned here that I use on a consistent basis, I've kind of uh, organized them from a top down uh, viewpoint. So for instance, when I wake up in the morning, I see that I have a morning routine. So when I wake up, I go ahead and click on my morning routine and it shows me everything that I need to do for my morning routine. Then of course, I also have actions this day that I need to complete. And these actions this day are everything that's gonna move my life forward that I want to accomplish for sure that day. Now that could be like your today's objectives or your today's focus, but I just call it actions this day. And um, I find it very useful to have this and I only, um, Typically my actions this day are only like three or four tasks during the day that I want to complete uh, that are the most important and they're the ones I'm gonna focus on more. Everything else, eh, if I don't get done with it in the day, no harm, no foul. It could always be postponed to tomorrow, but these tasks are usually, I'm dead set to get them done. Now, of course it's 5.40 in the afternoon and I have completed a couple of these tasks and I'll take care of those in a few minutes and uh, mark those off. But let's go on through here. So after I look at my actions this day, you know, usually after my morning routine or what have you, I'll look at actions this day and, and, and decide when I want to do those. And typically what I like to do here is if I go over here to my calendar here, you'll see that um, I have these uh, time blocks in my day set aside for um, focused work. And these focused work time blocks that I've set up here, I have typically um, made those available for any of my today's objectives or actions this day uh, type of stuff that I want to get done. And so these are done during these focused work uh, time blocks that I've scheduled for myself. But anyways, back to um, Todoist. So 
Uh, once I look at that and I say, okay, I want to do these during certain time blocks and everything, then I'll go to waiting for. And waiting for basically is anything that I'm waiting for, like any uh, follow-ups to some emails or maybe a follow-up to a phone conversation or anything that I'm waiting for a response from somebody or maybe I'm waiting to um, make that decision myself to accomplish something and that I might be responding to someone else as well. So it's just a kind of a holding area of types where I say, hey, I'm waiting for a certain thing to happen before I accomplish this task and that's what's in this waiting for. Currently right now, I do not have anything in the waiting for area. Now you wonder what this before I leave house filter is. Well, I have found that um, I'm very forgetful by the way. And a lot of times when I set myself a task like um, um, take my backup drive to uh, the bank's safety deposit box and um, and uh, drop that you know off in the safety deposit box, and I might have that set up to uh, as one of my errands. But a lot of times, what I figure uh, I find out that I do is that I, I, I go out for the day to do my errands based upon my time block that I've set up. And I go to do my errands, and I'm and I'm out there, and I look at my phone. And, okay, what do I got to do for my errands? Oh yeah, I got to run by the bank. Uh oh, I can't drop off the hard drive to the safety deposit box. Why? Well, hmm, I left it at home. Kind of sucks on it. So what I found is that uh, it's best that I label it in there so I remind myself and I check that right before I walk out the door I check that and make sure that I actually have um, that available uh, to do uh, so therefore I know that I can uh, remind myself to take that hard drive with me uh, so I don't forget to do that while I'm on my errands so that's why I have that before I leave house uh, filter and then, of course, I also have routines and chores, and this is basically any miscellaneous routines that I, that I do. And these are not my morning routines, and they're not my evening or winding down routines, but they're mostly miscellaneous routines like, you know, get a haircut every two weeks, uh, change the oil every, you know, three months or what have you. These are all the miscellaneous routines that I have that pop up, but at sporadic times. And so I have those along with my chores in one area so I can remind myself of anything that I might have to do for that day. So I'm typically going down through this from top to bottom and kind of just reminding myself of these things. And like I say, whenever I wake up in the morning, I always go down this list here first thing, even though I'm not really going to accomplish them right away, I just kind of like to remind myself that day, oh yeah, I got all this stuff to do, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but then when I go to work on stuff, I know that this is my most priority, and I'm working on that first, and then if I get to these other things here, great, if not, so be it, I'll postpone it to another day. So, as you see, I don't have any routines or chores for today. Um, then I also have this bills due for the next 30 days. Uh, I always like to keep up and make sure that I'm not going to be surprised by any bills that are coming up. Uh, it's, it's more of a just a, I don't know, it just makes me feel better knowing that I'm I'm not going to be shocked. And uh, later on, oh my gosh, I got this bill due. Did I save up enough money? Oh my God. It just kind of keeps me um, on track on what I need to do. Then um, random tasks and uh, for today are any miscellaneous tasks that are not like um, action this day tasks, um, but they're not routines or errands either. They're just miscellaneous one-off tasks that uh, eh, if I get them completed, great. If I have some downtime during my day, but if not, I can always postpone until tomorrow. It's just some random stuff I might think of during the day or what have you. Now, uh, I also have my exercise routine in here. Um, and so I have a uh, my calendar set up where I have a time block and I blocked off some time for exercising. Uh, and so when it's time for my exercising, then I know to look into do is to see what I have to do for my exercise routine. Then uh, in my evening routine, um, I have that set up where typically I set up my day where I am, um, you know, 
I only work between a certain hour and a certain hour. So let's say, for instance, um, I'm working from 8 to 5. Well, after 5 o'clock, I have decided and I found this kind of works for me to say, okay, there's got to be a cutoff point to my uh, work so I'm not just, you know, uh, burning myself out. So at 5 o'clock, I've decided that that's my cutoff time. And so then after that, it's just basically wrapping up the day, you know, kind of leisure activities, but also just kind of, um, you know, organizing the remaining of the day um, <clears throat> so that I can set up tomorrow for success as well. So I have an evening routine and a winding down routine. An evening routine is typically everything that occurs after five o'clock once I've stopped for the day. Uh, of course, uh, typically at five o'clock I'm, I'm doing my exercise routine. So typically the evening routine is after six o'clock. And so at six o'clock to say 8.30, I am doing, um, or six to eight, I think it is, I'm doing my evening routine. And that is um, any of these tasks like this, like um, where I might have um, my charge my keyboard, um, you know, sync my MacBook, you know, charge my fitness buds, all this miscellaneous stuff that I want to do because it's nothing more uh, aggravating. Like for instance, I go to do my, um, uh, my walk for tomorrow and I grab my fitness buds and they're not charged. And then I got to wait for them to charge and then it puts me behind the eight ball. So I like to make sure I get everything's all taken care of. Uh, so these are my uh, evening routines. And then of course, winding down routines is everything that I'm going to do directly before bed. Uh, you know, like, you know, meditate or uh, drink some, uh, you know, uh, tea. Um, um, you know, just any kind of miscellaneous stuff that I might want to do. To wind down and that's also being off of the computer uh, taking a walk um, outside you know uh, enjoying a book or what have you these are my winding down routines that I would also have right here then if you see under here and then that's typically the end of my day right by uh, winding down and then I go to bed and I go to sleep but now uh, you also see that below that though I have a few more things well I have errands for today and that's whenever I am out in town during my day, I can always have easy access to my errands to see what errands I needed to run for the day. Okay. And then um, during my um, evening routine, I have a section dedicated to a daily mini review. So when I reach that, that point here for my daily mini review here, then, um, which is right here, complete daily mini review. Then I jump over here to this daily mini review here and I go through all of these steps to, um, um, you know, tackle my uh, daily mini review so I can set myself up for success for the next day. Here also I have my weekly review and that is done on Sundays. Obviously I don't have anything uh, in there today because it's Saturday, but, um, or as of this recording, it's Saturday. So uh, these are my weekly reviews. And then of course here, I always like to keep my advancement tasks for the next seven days as a bird's eye view. So if I say, you know, I got a lot of stuff uh, going on for today, maybe I can move some stuff around. Then I can look at bird's eye view and say, okay, what area is kind of empty that I can move some of this stuff around to? And these are all tasks that are not routines and um, are not kind of chores or routines or anything like that. They're just things that are gonna move my life forward. Uh, so these are tasks that I need to complete and maybe I don't want, you know, want to bog myself down in one day with overwhelm and so I can move some of these things around. So this is basically right after weekly review uh, and daily review because I can, during my daily review process, go down to advancement tasks to see if there's anything I need to move around and move those around. So now that is typically how I set this up. Now, uh, when you go down here to filters, um, I'll show you what one of my, like for instance, morning routines, my morning routine, if you look here, you'll see that the uh, query is just, it's pretty simple. It's just um, today overdue and at morning routine. 
It's just that simple. Okay. Now, actions this day, though, is even simpler, sort of. It is overdue in today, or overdue or today, by the way. Uh, whenever you see this uh, in parentheses, and then the little line there, it means overdue or today, uh, either or. Because if you put overdue and today, and there ain't nothing overdue, it's not going to show you today because it didn't meet the criteria. See what I'm saying? So that's why you want to do overdue or today. Now, also I put an and because I also definitely want this one to show any of my P1s. Now, at one point in time, I was doing a, a today's focus label, but I found that it was, I don't know, it was causing me some issues because certain times I would just make a decision that that today's focus item wasn't really that important and maybe I'm, you know, during my mini or weekly review and I decided, well, you know what? Um, I, I just don't like that. But then I had to take the today's focus um, label out and, you know, it's kind of cumbersome to go in there, click on it and uh, erase it. And so I found a better way or a way that works for me and is I have restructured my labels and see when even when I was doing today's focus, I would always lay or I would always um, flag stuff uh, at P1, P2, P3, or P4, but it didn't necessarily correspond with the actual uh, labels. So I decided to just do away with the um, whole um, thing I was doing with the uh, flags and even kind of restructure my labels where now P1 only means actions this day. It doesn't mean anything else, just actions this day. P2 means only, the only thing it means is waiting for. So when I look at my today's view or look at, uh, you know, a seven day week in advance and I see a, um, you know, a red flag, I know that's actions this day. It doesn't mean anything else. It has no correlation with anything else. It only means that one thing, period. It means nothing else. Also, uh, I know that P2 only means act, um, only means waiting for. That's all it means. P3, I know only means my routines. So no matter what routine I have, whether that's evening, uh, exercise routine, um, chores, um, anything that's a routine, that's a weekly, daily, monthly, yearly routine gets labeled a P3. So I know when I see it in my list of things to do, that thing is labeled that and it's, it's down on the priority list because we know P3 is not really that important, but I don't want it necessarily to be P4 either. P4 is set up for just tasks that are, um, not really that important. They're just, yeah, if I get to it, great. If not, who cares? But they're not, they're really low on the totem pole and they're basically, you know, like tasks that I might throw in my inbox, their P4s right away uh, because I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet and I don't decide until my daily review. And so that's why they're at the bottom of the day. So once I'm done with everything, I can look at the today's view a little bit easier when I'm doing my daily re mini review and see those tasks uh, there as well because P4 are not that important tasks, okay? So that's how I structured my flags. Now, it, so for instance, like I say, if I go here to waiting for, and you see the filter here, you see that today um, overdue is uh, today or overdue and P2 because waiting for is P2. Um, before I leave the house, how did I label that? That was today or overdue and a label called, believe it or not, before I leave house. Yeah, I know it's kind of crazy. <laughs> now routines and chores. How did I do that? Well, it might have been a little bit more complicated. I did uh, today uh, or overdue, and um, I said I want P3 or at chores, because what is P3? Routines, right? But if I put P3 and 
chores. And I guess I could have renamed this routines or chores, but I put routines and chores. But as far as the, as far as the query goes, I need to be more um, precise because I wanted to show routines or chores, either or. So if I put and there, it would only show me. Um, it would have to both statements would have to be true, okay. And if I didn't have any routines that day, but I did have chores, it wouldn't show up there, and therefore I'd be defeating the purpose. So I put P3, which is routines or chores, and that's my label. Then also I put and not, and that's what that quotation mark means, morning routines. Because I want my routines to show up there, but just the miscellaneous routines that don't mean anything. So I don't want my morning routines. I don't want the evening routines. And I sure don't want the winding down routines either. And I don't want the daily menu review. And I don't want the weekly review in there. And I don't want my exercise routines in there. So you see that one's a little bit long, but it accomplishes the task. And I only set it up that once and now it's done. Okay. Um, my bill is due basically is for the next 30 days. And that was fairly simple to set up. I said next 30 days and at bills due. So anything this label bills due within the next 30 days shows up in this, uh, grid here, uh, random tasks for today, not routines and errands. So that's all those miscellaneous tasks. And, um, this one's, um, I don't know if it's really that complicated, but basically it's today or overdue and uh, P2, uh, well, actually it says and not P2 because I don't want to show any waiting fours and I don't want to show any actions this day, which is P1, right? And I don't want to show morning routines and I don't want to show winding down routines and I don't want to show evening routines and I don't want to show routines period and I don't want to show errands or any of that stuff right so I've labeled everything I don't want in here just so I have random tasks just those miscellaneous tasks and one off tasks then um, this one is not important and reviews now of course that's not actually up here in this area because yeah well, it's not really needed because it's not really that important and I don't really visit it that much uh, maybe I do during my daily mini review. I might look at it, but for the most part, I found that I once I've done everything for the day, most everything else is left there, unless um, there's a few uh, winding down routines that might still be up in here, and I might just go and open that up real quick and look at non-important review, uh, review items. Now, also my exercise routine here, I have um, that set up here as. Um, today or overdue and then I have the exercise routine project as you see with the pound sign as part of that filter uh, evening routines here I have basically uh, this set up today or overdue and every our evening routines here and then of course the same thing with winding down routines and then my errands here um, is basically uh, today or overdue and at errands. And of course, chores for today. As you see, I, I don't have a chores for today up there because I kind of included it all in with this routines and chores here. Then my daily mini review, how did I set this up? I went here and put today or overdue and then of course the pound daily mini review, which is the project uh, folder for that. Now, if you also noticed here, you'll see that I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you might be wondering why I did that for uh, this daily mini review, as well as the evening routines and the winding down routines here. Okay. Well, I found that, um, to do is, I love their filters, but the only issue with their filters is if you want to do something in a certain pattern, like I don't want to complete this task until that task is done, um, then you're going to have to 
Well, it's just not going to let you do it. Sometimes it puts it out of order. So you say you, you've got this long list of things, but they're all in sequential order of the way you want it to get done. Uh, and you go and you create a filter for that. Uh, occasionally, the filter will, during that day, you go look at it, your items will be out of uh, order of way you intended to accomplish the tasks. So the way around that was I numbered them. Now, it's still going to throw it out of uh, sync here, okay? It's still going to throw it out. The numbers don't actually help it um, organize it b numerically, but it's a nice little reminder that when it does throw it out, and I see, it say, for instance, I see this number one way down here, and I see it starts with number two. I know it's out of sync, and all I have to do is look for number one, and I don't have to remember what was number one. Oh, yeah, it was charged by Mac. And so, you know, it's um, further down there, and I find it, and it, voila. So it just makes it a little bit easier to locate it uh, if you are interested. Now, if it doesn't matter to you which order you can accomplish them then, but I'm somewhat forgetful, and it kind of helps me. Uh, along that path so uh, I know this episode is kind of a little long one today uh, but I did want to kind of give you all a kind of I guess a brief overview of how I utilize Todoist in my setup uh, now of course not too long ago I also did a Todoist setup um, but I wanted to kind of give a little bit more um, updated uh, look at how I do it with the uh, new pinning function and everything and I hope this, um, you know, you can take something out of this episode and use it for your uh, productivity system. And uh, like I say, uh, if you're watching my other episodes, uh, the best thing for you to do is um, you're an individual just like I am. We all have different thought processes and uh, there's no one way that's right or another way. Uh, you got to do it however you see fit that it works for you. Uh, so with that being said, um, make this productivity system work for you. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please click on that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so by it. Um, also, please click on that notification bell if you are wanting any future uh, episodes um, um, emailed to you or what have you. And so with that being said, I want to wish you all an awesome day. And let's become more productive. Thank you.